Well, good morning, and welcome to Let's Play, where we play games in my Steam and GOG library. And today we have a puzzle game, courtesy of Key Miller and the publisher Funbox Media, called Jigsaw Puzzle Fever, built as a single-player game that is fun for the whole family. So let's take a look at it. The game was created by NYX Digital, released on Steam on May 3rd for $7.99. In it, puzzles can be played in one of four difficulty levels. Pieces are laid out across the bottom of the screen, where the player can scroll through them and select pieces as they choose. Difficulty levels include Easy, with 48 pieces, Not so easy, with 48 rotated pieces, Normal, with 108 pieces, Hard, with 108 rotated pieces, and an Expert mode that includes 108 rotated pieces with no peeking or hints. Other features in the game include a grid, which is pretty self-explanatory. It shows the grid of the puzzle pieces. Edges for filtering out pieces to show only the edge pieces. A help function that automatically places one piece for you in the correct position. And peek to see the full picture. However, be warned, there are some puzzles that have forced difficulty settings, such as no hints, timer, or peeking. And the puzzles are grouped into levels. Once all the initial 10 puzzles have been completed, the next level unlocks with a total of 75 puzzles available. You have trophies collected by completing various challenges and leaderboards that allow your score to be posted so you can challenge yourself against your friends or the rest of the world. From what I've played of this so far, the game runs well. The controls are decent for this style of game. The pictures, while being on the generic side, and let's be honest, most physical puzzles suffer from that too, are colorful and present a decent amount of challenge in placing pieces. And with 75 of them, the game's going to provide a few hours of relaxing entertainment for puzzle enthusiasts. While there isn't any indication of them offering DLC in the future, uh, I could see them offering picture packs to expand on the game. What price point these end up being will determine how successful and viable the game continues to be for the developer. PC requirements for the game are pretty easy going, requiring a minimum of Windows 7, 4 gigs of RAM, DirectX 11, and it's relatively light on hard drive space at about 200 megs installed. And for those that prefer to play on console, it's also slated to be available on PS4 and Switch. Something I'd personally like to see added is the ability to have a creative or non-leaderboard mode where players can create puzzles from their own photo library. I could see this being used by parents to create unique puzzles for children or grandchildren, maybe to mark a special celebration like a birthday, holiday, or graduation. I think this would be a great feature and expand the variety and replayability of the game. But without that, I would say for the price of $7.99, you're definitely going to get several hours of enjoyment out of it. And if you enjoy relaxed puzzle games without the mess and risk of pieces walking off with the family pet, don't ask me how I know that, I can see this as being one to check out. So that's our look at Jigsaw Puzzle Fever. And... Yes, I can definitely recommend it if you enjoy puzzle games. Until next time, bye for now.